There's been lots of buzz surrounding Microsoft's major announcement recently about a new version of Windows 10 called Windows 10 S. But what exactly is the point of it, and how is it different from all the other versions of Windows you might be using? And what does the S even stand for? That's obviously what I'm going to cover today. So before we go over the features and differences with Windows 10 S, it's important to know why Microsoft created this version in the first place because it's not really meant to be a regular version of Windows that you might install on your main desktop computer. Instead, you can think of it as a more streamlined, aka locked down version of Windows. And they said they mainly wanted to create this for educational environments where teachers would need better controls over how the computers are being used by students. However, they seem to be wanting to put this on Surface tablets as well, which I'll get to later. So with this goal in mind, the main difference of Windows 10 S is that you can only install apps from the Windows App Store. And the idea being that if students are restricted from installing any old programs, then they are a lot less likely to ruin it by installing malware or something like that. Now, right off the bat, this should make you realize that Windows 10 S is not some sort of upgraded version of Windows, but rather the exact opposite. By design, it's extremely limited. Though there are some other differences that are also a bit questionable. For example, it only allows you to use the Edge web browser. Okay, I mean, I guess if you want to lock it down, you could justify wanting to control the browser for security purposes. Oh, but I forgot, you can also only use Bing as your default search engine. Yeah, that's just retarded. Now, besides that last one, I think it's fair to say that we shouldn't exactly be surprised that they have these restrictions, because that's the whole point. You can probably imagine how long these computers would last, or rather wouldn't last, with a bunch of students if it wasn't heavily controlled. And I mean, at least as a regular computer user, you don't have to use it, right? Right? Oh no. Here's the thing. It turns out Microsoft is going to be putting Windows 10 S on their new Surface laptop. <laughs> you know, because when I spend up to $2,000 on a high-end laptop, I definitely only want to be able to install apps from the landfill known as the Windows App Store. This is just not justifiable. This is a terrible move by Microsoft. I mean, oh my god, I have no idea what they're thinking. Hey Joe, I just got the new Surface laptop. It was really expensive, but I hear it's the best. Oh sweet, what are you going to do with it first? I don't know, maybe install Google Chrome, download Steam and play some games, or install Photoshop and edit some photos. <laughs> Sorry man, you can't do any of that. Now that obviously sounds really bad, mostly because it is, but the good news is that Windows 10 S is still fully capable of running programs from outside the Windows App Store. You just have to pay an extra $50 to upgrade to Windows 10 Pro. Alright, now the gloves are coming off, because I'm just going to say it, this is a straight up scam. You pay $2,000 for a top end Windows laptop, get home and find out you have to still pay $50 for the privilege of actually using the frickin' computer normally. It's like they're trying to create their own Chromebook type device where the operating system is super dumbed down and simplified, but they don't tell you that. At least with Chromebooks, you should know what you're gonna get going into it you're not going to be running any heavy hitter programs on a Chromebook. But with something like the Surface, they are definitely high-end specs, up to an Intel Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and SSD, but they cripple it with a far inferior version of Windows. And like I said, the laptop is fully capable of running any program, you just have to pay $50 to flip the switch to be allowed to do it. And you might say, okay, well, it's only $50 relatively compared to the computer price, it's not that much. And yeah, but there's no reason to limit it in the first place. It doesn't change the fact that you will literally pay thousands of dollars for a computer where you can't even change the default browser. The only explanation I can think of for this is that they want to force people to use the Windows App Store. On something like a smartphone, it would make sense because you wouldn't expect anything more. You're not expecting to download hundreds of gigabytes of games and put it on a phone. But that is not what someone is going to expect when they buy this computer. They want to be able to do everything. And by the way, the name of it is deceptive too. I mean, Windows 10 S. An average person would see that and think it's somehow better. It might remind you of the iPhone S models, which are faster. Or maybe because right on the Microsoft website it says 
streamlined for security and superior performance. That's like if an airline said that you can fly to your destination faster because of increased security and lighter weight planes, but they do this by handcuffing all the passengers and removing all the seats so you have to sit on the floor. And you gotta love the page that lists all the features. It specifically mentions the ability to stream HD video and switch across apps. Wow, you mean this version of Windows can do absolutely nothing remarkable at all? I mean, come on, there is no way around it. This is an inferior version of Windows. So at this point, you might be wondering, is there anything good about Windows 10S? Well, as I touched on before, the answer may be yes, only if you're not the one using it. By that, I mean if you're a teacher and your students will be using it, or if you're a parent and your kid will be using it and you really have to lock down everything. Also, in a school environment, it lets you create a type of USB key that can essentially copy a system setup from one computer to many. So you can set up lots of computers the same way very quickly. So that's kind of convenient. And it also makes it easier for administrators to enable and disable features across all the devices, such as blocking the use of the webcam or certain menus. Of course, Many of these options have already been possible from the group policy settings, it's just easier now. In addition, some manufacturers will be releasing education-specific PCs that will come with Minecraft Education Edition and Office 365. So it's not really a bad deal for educational purposes, not at all, I would say. But as I've been saying, for basically anyone else, it's horrible. I'll tell you what I think right now, which is you should not get a Windows 10 S device if you have the choice. Just don't get it. Not only because you'll have to pay extra money to get basic functionality, but also to just vote with your wallet. You might think that an extra $50 is not much compared to $2,000 you just paid for the computer, but why should you? I don't even think it's necessarily a cash grab because otherwise they would just charge more for the laptop. I think they are specifically hoping that people will decide that they'd rather use the Windows App Store than pay $50. So the way I see it, I hope people will avoid buying this thing just to show Microsoft that we want nothing to do with their crappy App Store. If they don't want to allow my favorite programs on there like Steam, then I don't want to use it. It's that simple. So what does the future hold here? Well, if we're lucky, Microsoft will realize what a horrible decision this is and just give their products regular versions of Windows on non-education products. If they want to really shoot themselves in the foot, they may even double down and try putting this crippled version of Windows on all of their Surface devices going forward. I hope not. If that happens, I can just predict how it will go. People will see how awesome the specs are for this new Surface laptop or whatever else device and think, hmm, I think I'll give this a shot. They might even look at the marketing and genuinely believe that Microsoft 10S will be faster and more secure. But when they get it, they're gonna find out really quickly that their shiny new device is not what they expected and it won't turn out well. I think at the end of the day, this is going to hurt the Surface brand big time. I really do. If there's one thing I know, it's that most people are not willing to change their habits or learn anything new when it comes to computers. They just want it to work right out of the box. And you know what, if that's how it's marketed, that's what I would want too. So when these people start buying this hyped up device and find out it does the exact opposite of what they're told, don't even be surprised when people decide never to buy a Microsoft device ever again. Not to mention when everyone tells their friends about their $2,000 new computer, they can't even install any of their favorite programs unless they pay more. So here's what I have to say to Microsoft. Look, you're just starting to pick up speed with your Surface line. I was even thinking about getting one of the high-end versions of the next one you make because they've been just getting better and better. But this time, you blew it, bigly. You're not Apple, you're not Google, so why are you trying to make an iPad or Chromebook or whatever the heck else you were thinking? The whole appeal for the Surface products was that they're highly portable computers in a tablet form factor, but ran the full version of Windows and it didn't have any of the limitations of regular tablets. So why would you remove the one thing that made your devices stand out from the rest? No one wants to use the Windows App Store, and even if they did, you don't even allow competing software like Steam, Origin, Google Chrome, and countless other amazing programs to be on it. And don't think that I don't know what you're doing. 
trying to force developers to start selling their programs on the Windows Store by forcing the users to use it. It's just gonna be easier for people to not buy your devices at all. And to everyone else, I guess the best way to sum up this video is, if you're a teacher, Windows 10S might be a good deal. For literally everyone else, stay as far away as you can. Anyway, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, let me know what you think down in the comments section. Maybe I'm completely wrong, you have your own ideas, I wanna hear about it. If you wanna keep watching, I'll put some other videos right here, you can just click on those. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and also consider enabling notifications by clicking the bell. Again, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys, so thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.